That is a very wise woman, really, isn't it? Do you, so, do you empathise with that? Yeah, and, and as part of the work that I do with Lean in Ireland, I coach a lot of women and men. Yeah. And I find imposter syndrome is something that occurs with a lot of people. And I'm probably considered quite confident, but, you know, I think it happens to me as well. I think it happens to a hell of a lot of celebrities that you would not expect it to happen to. Why do you think that is? I think it's because we think we're not worthy or if we walk into a situation or an environment where we feel that everybody is better than us, then we get a wobble of self-doubt. Mm. And that's what imposter syndrome is. You feel like you don't deserve to be there or you don't deserve to be with the people that you're with. Or you don't realise that you're there because you've worked hard and something else has obviously elevated you to that position, not yourself. Absolutely. Yes. And, and, you know, funny, I think it's a cute thing, right? Because I think if you have an overflated ego, then you would never have imposter syndrome, right? So I think it's quite cute because it means that you're quite a humble person and you haven't got an inflated ego. What you do need to do, though, is be able to manage it yeah. because you don't want it to stop when you're doing some cool opportunities or developing career or whatever, right? So some of the tips that I give some of the people that I coach are use a success journal. I don't know if any of you guys... What's a success journal? <laughs> this sounds interesting. I, that I teach people about success journals because they really work, right? Success journal is like a diary or it's a book or it can be an email that you write to yourself. So I have a success journal on my phone in my draft emails so I can top it up whenever I want, right? And all you do is you write down some of the times in your life where you've done things that you amazed yourself or that you've achieved something in the face of adversity. It can be personal, it can be career, it can be kids, it can be something you've done as a kid, yourself, whatever, right? And you need to write those down because then they absorb more into your subconscious thinking and it helps your self-belief. So if you get a wobble at any yeah. point on this imposter syndrome, you think, okay, success journal, what's in there, right? Then you remember what you've done and then you realise if I've done that, I can do anything. Yeah. Right? And that treats that imposter syndrome. Yeah. Do you kind of get worse if you have imposter